hey what's happening so uh today i'm going to do something i've been wanting to do for a while I've just been putting a lot of things off just a lot of stuff going on but um we're going to put cup holders in this boat for one thing i'm going to try to get some wiring done but uh maybe install the fish finder but uh really hadn't seen a lot of videos on putting cup holders in this thing the ones that are in it are, are not all that great as you can see from video when we went to North Anna my, my friend just kept dumping his coffee cup everywhere because it's just not deep enough so I got these I'm gonna put these in I got these from Walmart uh, they're like four dollars a piece I think is what they were we gonna put four of them in um i got a hole saw i hope it's big enough um if not i've got a dremel tool it just would take longer to do it that way um so yeah we'll see how it goes they say that the hardest thing is getting this plastic to uh to glue i guess this boat's made of polyethylene and it's Hard to find a glue that will actually glue these together, the two plastics. For some odd reason, you have to have a special glue for polyethylene, and I couldn't find any. I just bought some epoxy from Harbor Freight, and we're going to try it. Also, have some some clear silicone that I'm going to use in case I need that. So, um, yeah, let me get my tools together, and we're going to see how this thing works out. As you can see, there's styrofoam under that, so I think I'm going to have to do some cutting and get all that stuff out. kind of wasn't expecting that. So, uh, we'll be back as soon as I kind of have a little plan as to where we this go from three, here. Almost three and a half inches is what it is. As you can also see, there's styrofoam under that under that piece so I have to figure out a way to get that out but basically what I did was I drilled the depth of this 
and I'm going to try to, I guess, dig the styrofoam out with something. I'm going to look and see what I got that'll work. But, um, yeah, that's where we're at. Didn't realize I'd, I mean, I knew it had styrofoam in it, but I didn't realize it was going to be like that. So, is what it is. We'll continue on. You know, this is a pretty tight fit. Um, I don't think I'm going to even need any adhesive. So, I'm just going to go a little deeper here. Uh, spoon worked out really good. Just digging this stuff out. Nice clean cut on the inside there. I'll show you all a little better once I get it out. But I'm going to go about another half inch and dig that out some more.
yeah, look at that. That's nice. You know? That's a nice tight fit right there. That's a good deal. It'll come out. I hope it does, because I won't put some silicone on it. An epoxy so just to give you an up close look there the spoon did the job getting that stuff out and just vacuum it out now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a bead of adhesive silicone adhesive around this and then I'm gonna put a bead around this area right here I'm just gonna push it down in there now the other thing is, there's two drain holes in this. I'm gonna put adhesive on those too. Cause I don't want that to get wet and it'll dry out or I'll just wipe it out. But yeah, I'm gonna put adhesive on both sides of that before I put it in there or sealant. This is basically all I'm using is Permatex black silicone adhesive sealant we're just gonna drop it right in there yeah really happy with the way this is going not too bad
nice clean installation. So we're going to do four more, or well, three more. One there, and I'm going to do one there and one there. That way we'll have somewhere to put our drinks and a little cubby to put tools or whatever. So yeah, worked out really nice. Nice clean installation. The only thing I wish is I wish that Walmart would have had two more black ones, but they didn't. So we just have to deal with it. I could paint them, but I'm not going to do that. So hey, that turned out pretty good, didn't it? Looks nice. Um, basically just a drill. Got a couple cup holders from Walmart, the Ozark Trail. They were like three forty something, I think is what they were a piece. Under four dollars a piece. And then a uh, little silicone. And you probably don't need the silicone, but I just, you know, did it as an extra step just to, you know, keep water out. And then uh, a hole saw that's about three and a half inches. It, it actually measures out just a little under that, like one eighth under that, but um, gives you a nice clean cut in a spoon. Just kind of dig it out and vacuum it out, and you're all set to go. Well, yeah, that's my uh, my. I'm gonna call it easy peasy cup mod because <laughs> it was. It was. I've been putting this off for a while, you know, just because of things that's been going on, but. Anyway, I appreciate you watching, and uh, yeah, we'll get the other three done and can continue on with making some modifications on this thing. We ain't going to get all crazy with it because I want to keep it as light as I can, even though I did buy an extra battery for it, um, in case we go out on the reservoir with it. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe to the channel, you know, if you like what you see. Hit the like button if you really like it. Subscribe if you super like it. Um, thanks again.